Hi guys, so today I want to show you a quick video on how to use Peer Deck uh, for languages classes. So first thing that we're going to do is that I'm going to do a Google Slides or um, yes, basically um, if you did a PowerPoint, make sure that it's converted to a Google Slides in your Gmail account. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what I have. Okay, so here's the first thing. Uh, as you can see, I have an activity. I created this activity uh, using material from online. Uh, you can use it from your books. Um, I have some questions that I want the students to answer. So this is basically what you're doing. Um, I put this in Spanish, Italian, French, and Chinese, the traditional Chinese. So, ¿qué te gusta comer? Um, the Spanish, me gusta comer. And then I put hamburguesa, papas fritas, ensalada. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add on and I'm going to open peer deck. So the nice feature about this is that you can add an audio to each slide that you have. Uh, I want to tell you something, make sure that you, if you have peer deck, that you had a premium version which is free for 90 days so i'm going to add the audio to the slide and i'm going to make sure that i do it in spanish que te gusta comer sentence started me gusta comer hamburguesa papas fritas ensalada pause now you pause and then if you want to resume you can resume but i'm going to save it because i already finished save and you if you want to listen to the audio you can click here so i'm going to add audio to a slide and you can do it you can do this in any language okay now what i want to do is I want to make sure that I give, let's see, I'm gonna use Padlet for this. For this activity, I want to make sure I'm gonna use Padlet, which is a website that you can use for free, but I paid for um, this uh, website and it's only $10 a month. But if you wanna get it for the whole year, it's $96 and also is less expensive if you get it for the whole year. So I'm gonna log into my account. So I'm gonna pause for a minute. Okay. So I'm in my Palette account right now. And Palette is very easy, easy to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make a Palette. A Palette is a tool where you can take notes uh, in different ways. You can add a picture, a video, audio, or you can do writing. So I'm going to go to Grid. I'm gonna select grid here. I'm gonna select this one because it looks like a, a sticky note. So I'm gonna select it. And I'm gonna add a new name. It says title here. So I'm gonna add Google for Google Slides for languages. And now I'm gonna make sure I change the color a little bit texture here 
and make sure that it says attribution. If your students have an account with Padlet, you can use this, but I'm not gonna use it because they don't have an account. So what I'm going to use is I'm gonna I'm going to use comments and I'm going to use the like button, which says reactions. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. I'm gonna click next. And it says you are all set, post to your hard content, and start posting. So I'm gonna post here. I'm gonna click the plus sign at the bottom. And I'm gonna make sure that I tell them to put their name as the title. So I'm gonna put my name. And I'm gonna tell them to write a comment, write comment in this section. Okay, that looks great. But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna copy this link at the top. I'm gonna copy this link. And Peter that gives me the option to use multiple choice questions, to use text, to use drawing, to use draggable to use number or to use website. Why I'm using Padlet? Because Padlet gives me the option to use recording so they can practice the um, speaking skills. So I'm gonna use that website. You copy and paste. So I'm gonna click update a slide. And I'm gonna do this for every questions, for every question, for every slide, I'm gonna do it. Website, and I'm gonna put Padlet. Website and Padlet update slide now i'm using peer deck and padlet so i'm using basically two applications so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click start my lesson so most of the time we are going to do learning uh that is not a real time so I'm gonna use the student pace activity instead of the instructor pace activity. It's, um, I recommend to use this one if you are doing a live lesson with your students synchronously. Or I recommend you to do this one if you're doing something that it doesn't require you. So I'm gonna use this one. So I'm waiting a little bit. I'm gonna pause. Now, it's showing me welcome to the t-shirt dashboard. Um, and I'm gonna click, got it. Now, what I want to do is I wanna copy the link of the student version. And I'm gonna copy this link because I want to share that link in Google Classroom. So I'm gonna copy link gonna pause the video.
So, hi guys, so I'm back. So I paused the video because I wanted to post, post the link on Google Classroom. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post the link on Google Classroom and I'm gonna post it in the student version. So I'm gonna get out of the student version. Uh, so I'm gonna pause the video again and I'm gonna come back with uh, using the student version. Guys, so I'm on the student version now. So I'm going to click the peer deck link and that's going to take me to the activity. So I'm going to click this. So it's asking me, how are you feeling today? I'm going to say happy. Now, this is like a Google slice also. So I'm going to go to my first slide and I'm gonna click the plus sign here. This is Padlet and this is Peer Deck. So they are both combined. So I'm gonna click the plus sign and I'm, gonna, I'm going to put my name and I'm gonna also use the sentence starter and write the answer. So me gusta comer hamburguesa. Now, it looks simple because it's just writing. So if the student wants to add the audio, they can do it by clicking the three dots here, which it says more. So I'm gonna click the three dot and I'm gonna record my answer. Click the microphone. Me gusta comer hamburguesa and stop now you're gonna say playback and save so you see um it has the audio but it also has the writing component now let's say that i want to ask a picture of the hamburger i can add a picture and i can put my name so I'm gonna go here, it says Google, search images. So I'm gonna look for images, hamburger. Oops, sorry. So I'm gonna click the image and I can write it also. Me gusta comer hamburguesa so this don't so when they want to post they just click at uh, the board it's just like adding a sticky note so this add a visual component but it also has a audio component and this is why i like this now let's look at the italian version cosa ti piace mangiare Mi piace mangiare patatine fritte. Um, let's say that you want to include that. You can also include it. So let's put my name. Mi piace mangiare patatine fritte. And you can include the audio. I'm going to include it, of course. Mi piace mangiare patatine fritte. Now I'm gonna save it. And I can click done.
So if you want to edit the post, you can go to the website, to the main website, which is Padlet. And you can click edit post and you can edit it. But in this case, I don't want to edit it. So um, I hope that you like a video and if you like it and you understand, please subscribe to my channel. So I'm gonna pause. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'm gonna end this video, so adios.